Well, welcome back to the channel everyone and today I'm back at Bempton Cliffs. Now on my first trip, I came here to see the puffins. I was here for three days and got to see three puffins in the last hour of the day. So in case I don't see any other puffins here today, I thought I'd come and stand next to this chap just so I get a puffin in the picture. Anyway, we're gonna head down to the cliffs now and spend the whole day um, here at Bempton. I am actually going to go to another area this afternoon when the tide goes out so we can get down on the beach and below the cliffs. Um, so hopefully catch some birds and puffins on the cliffs from the beach. Um, but for now, we're gonna head down before the, uh, the weather comes in. It's set to be a bit cloudy, possible shower this afternoon. So yeah, gonna make the most of the morning. It is 6.20, so early bird catches the worm as they say. So let's go. Uh, so getting down to the cliffs this morning. It's been a long time coming. Well, it's only been six weeks, but uh, it feels a lot longer. And we've got nice weather to start with anyway. So I'm hoping for a cracking day. Okay, as you can see, we've got the cliffs here behind me here at Bempton. So unfortunately today we have a westerly wind this morning. So a lot of the birds are flying below the tops of the cliffs, which is gonna make it really hard to sort of get the, the birds flying at eye level. Uh, nothing we could do about that. Uh, so a lot of the videos are gonna, a lot of the photos are gonna to have to be shooting down until later on this afternoon when the tide goes out and I can get further on coast and shoot the birds from the beach. Um, yeah, so I was hoping for them to be going out and diving. No, that's still a possibility. It's still very early in the morning. It's only like quarter to seven, seven o'clock. Um, I just wanted to do some high speed photography, uh, which leads me on to today's sponsor, which is Exascend Memory Cards. So they've been kind enough to send me over their one terabyte CF Express Type B card um, that has a read speed of, I think it's 1,800 and a write speed of 1,700, which is just phenomenal. Um, it's heat protected, so it doesn't overheat. Um, and to be quite honest, uh, using a memory card with one terabyte, I can shoot all day long and not worry about filling up the, the memory card. And with read and write speeds like that, there's no way I'm gonna hit the buffer on the card at all. Um, so yeah, so they sent me over the Essential Exascend one terabyte memory card, which I have in the camera. And I've been using it for a couple of uh, weeks now. And transferring the images off the computer has absolutely been, it's just been something else, to be honest with you. It is literally seconds to, to transfer the images off the card. But no, I'm really happy with the card. I'm gonna be using it today. Um, one of the things I am, and always have been concerned about with photography is the integrity of your memory cards and um, the reliability, um, which is why I've always stuck to one brand in the past. Um, but I'm more than happy to try Exascend memory cards. Like I said, I've been using them in vigor, to be quite honest, over the, the last week too, and had no issues at all with the card. So I'm really, really impressed with them. And it may, uh, may sway me to use more in the future. But for now, I need to get photographing some seabirds and enjoy the rest of the day. So I'll see you later on. So, like I said earlier, let's get down and photograph some seabirds. Well, already seen a few puffins this morning, quite close up one 
um, just sitting on the edge of the cliff. Another one in a crack, which looks like it could possibly have a chick inside the uh, the crack in the cliff. And we've just got another one sat down here now, just uh, just resting. But yeah, guillemots, razor bills, gannets. Haven't seen a fulmar yet, um, but seen the puffins. So hopefully see some fulmars today. I do like the fulmars. There's just something about fulmar, isn't there, that just... Uh, I don't know, it's just unique, it's just the, the build of it and everything. It's just a really nice seabird. But no, great to see the puffins. Um, I was a bit optimistic, like I said at the beginning. So we're just trying to find the guillemot chicks. I think there could be one here in this nest. Um, sorry, not guillemot, gannet chick. Um, I am going to have a closer look and see if I can find some uh, gannet chicks. Once the gannets lay their eggs, they have a six week incubation period. Once the egg hatch, the gannets will start off naked and grey. They will then progressively get fluffier with a white down covering the bodies. And at about five weeks, the first sets of feathers start to go through the down. At around 13 weeks, the young chicks will leave the nest by gliding off the cliff down onto the sea. The reason that they do this is because they are just too fat to fly as both parents have been feeding them while sat in the nest. So the chick now has to paddle around the sea for about 10 days until it's lost enough weight so it can fly off to the west coast of Africa where it will spend the winter. The young gannets will return the following year and continue to do this flying back and forth. You may see gannets with various black markings on their wings and with black beaks. These are juvenile gannets, less than five years old, as they become 
increasingly white in the five years that it takes them to reach maturity. Once the gannets reach maturity, they will find a mate and mate for life. And they will nest here on the cliffs at Bempton or other areas around the UK and lay one egg with an incubation period of six weeks and a further 13 weeks in the nest makes it a total of 19 weeks that the gannets will care for this egg and chick before it leaves the nest. Um, that's just incredible that they dedicate so much of their time to this one chick. Um, just incredible. So I've made my way down to North Landing now um, just for something a little different. I thought I'd just come down to the cliffs here seeing as the tide has, has gone out and photograph these kitty wakes um, and there's a few razor bills but that's about it. Um, just nesting coming in and flying to and from the nests and what they're doing is they're flying in and feeding the chicks and I've managed to get a few pictures of the chicks and the seagulls sort of the chick taking the food out of the parent's mouth so that's really nice to see so i'm going to sit here for a little bit um, and just take in a few more of these pictures just up here sometimes the, the gulls come in the, the, the kittiwakes come in and they'll go to the wrong nest and all hell breaks loose when that happens um, which is really good to try and photograph but it's only happened once Okay guys, well this is the end of day one here at Bempton Cliffs and I have to say what the most fantastic day I have had here today at Bempton Cliffs compared to the last time that I came six weeks ago. This is definitely the time of year to come here to see all the chicks, um, the puffins. Um, in even thinking about it, I'm probably a week late so this time next year definitely coming back um, amazing absolutely amazing photo of a puffin with a mouthful of is it sand eels in its mouth um, i was laying down trying to photograph the full mars in flight and i literally just turned my head and there was this puffin sat there with a mouthful of fish i mean <laughs> absolutely unbelievable and, and just I couldn't, I couldn't believe my eyes you know it's like and, and you sort of freeze um, but then slowly move in and don't startle the bird and just got a couple of really nice pictures um, but yeah I mean there's this gannet chicks here I mean you've got gannet chicks that are probably like a few days old ranging from perhaps I don't know a week old that are quite big um, and then I've only managed to see uh, the razor bill with one chick. Um, I think a lot of the razor bill chicks have already left. Um, but no, it's been such a good day here. And I'll see you in the morning, guys. Morning, everybody, and welcome back to day two here at Bempton Cliffs. So, been over to see the puffins this morning. That's over at the south end here. Um, it's probably saw four puffins this morning. So, puffins are doing really well. Um, come up here now to the far end and basically what I'm looking for is to photograph some action um, but we do have plenty of chicks we've got the kittiwake chicks gannets razor bills and the guillemots all on this cliff here with chicks this morning so it's really nice to see that everybody's got a range of chicks here this morning um, but my main aim here and focusing this morning is basically just to wait, see if any action happens and photograph that. Now yesterday I was here and there were a pair of kiddiewakes and they were fighting and as they were fighting they were spinning around as they were going down and then separate just before they hit the ground. It was quite a spectacle to watch. So I'm hoping to get a couple more shots like that this morning. Um, and then this afternoon we're off onto the boat. So I will probably see you next when I'm boarding the boat.
Okay guys, well, welcome and unfortunately I was unable to finish the video at Bempton Cliffs. Um, from going onto the boat, absolutely an amazing time, um, really good just to go out and we got really close to the cliffs and we had puffins and gannets diving and um, the guillemots and razorbills flying past with fish in the mouths. It was a, an amazing experience. Unfortunately, on the way back, um, the winds pick up, picked up and it got extremely rough on the boat. And I do not have sea legs and unfortunately I got very, very ill very quickly. And spent the entire trip, which was about an hour, to get back. Um, being very unwell, unwell, being sick overboard. Um, yeah, I was in a pretty rough state, uh, literally crawling off the boat, got up to the docks, had to lay down on the floor for 15, 20 minutes um, until I got my equilibrium back. Um, and then we had to book into a B&B &B for the night, which cost us, uh, I think it was about £99, pound, um, just because I, I couldn't literally get in the car and, and the motion just made me really, really ill. Um, so unfortunately, there was no official ending to the video um, but that said feeling better now um, had an amazing trip I was so amazed at how the different in, in the difference of being there six weeks ago and coming back now um, I mean there were puffins literally flying past us all day um, you look down at the sea and there's a puffin it's puffin puffin um, yeah plenty of chicks Fantastic weather, um, highly recommend going there. Um, you've not got long, I would say the next week or two, uh, most of the chicks, um, apart from the gannets, I would imagine will have fledged. Um, and then it's obviously the end of the, the, the puffin season in the next three to four weeks, so all the puffins will then disappear and go live out the rest of the year out on the sea. Um, heading off to Mole next week, uh, next Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So hopefully going over to the Isle of Lunga only if it's a calm day. Otherwise, I'll be staying back and my wife will be going on her own because um, there's no way I'm going on the boat again unless it's calm seas. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe uh, link and the bell for notifications. It really helps with the channel and driving things forward. And enables me to to get out and, and do more videos for you guys and visit more locations and uh, yeah I would also like to thank today's sponsor once again which is the XSN memory card so the uh, one terabyte excellent card highly recommended and they have their USB-C 3.2 memory card reader um, thank you XSN for sending over the card and the reader thanks a lot for watching and until the next time, take care everyone. Thank you.